The Dishonored trilogy can be described using one word. Perfection. And you're probably wondering, Dylan, you can't just say that without giving any information or backing up your statement. And to that, I would say that's a very valid point. So here's a couple clips of me just really enjoying the game for you guys to get a feel of what's, what it's about. God, you fucking bitches are on my ass! Oh my god. Like, the most infuriating thing about dying is just sitting in this loading screen for 20 minutes. STOP BREATHING FIRE! Ow, holy shit! Oh, okay! God damn! That just, oh, that went so bad so fast. You pretty much get the idea of what we're dealing with here. First game we're gonna start with is Dishonored 1, but we need a little game plan before we start. This game is gonna take two playthroughs to Platinum, so here's what we're doing in playthrough one. First, we need to get all collectibles. Second, we need to make sure we finish the game on high chaos. That means killing everybody. Well, technically not everybody, just a lot of people. Step three of playthrough one is completing all side quests. And the fourth and final step of playthrough one is to beat the game without purchasing any supernatural powers. So let's get started. So after getting framed for a murder we didn't do, classic I know, but we get sent to jail to rot until we get executed. But just before that's about to happen, we get a piece of bread. But this isn't just your run-of-the-mill bread, it's harboring a key and some weird-ass cryptic message. Who we are is irrelevant. Right now, just know that we have been. So we grab the key, unlock cell door, get out of here, body every single guard in the building, and then we get our first trophy. Oh, our first trophy. I did escape the prison. After that, we got a couple more trophies. There were some stupid miscellaneous ones, so they're not really that big of a deal. But the next thing we had to do was to eliminate High Overseer Campbell. And he's part of a big group of people who helped frame me. But while I was doing this mission, I was also doing a side mission for a person named Granny Rags. She's just some crazy ass lady who's convinced I'm her husband. So before I kill Campbell, I do a few things for her. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I guess I don't have a choice. Hello. Would you look at this? You know Bam, bam, bam. Precious. <laughs> this woman is whack. Whack. Oh. <laughs> Damn! Granny, I'm coming. You better give me your presents. Virtual wink wink. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear. Whoa! Boy. Hold on! I'm not ready yet. Oh, yeah, I am. Oh, you look so good, vulnerable. So after finishing a couple of her quests, it was time to move on to kill the Overseer. But there was an issue. I paused my recording for like an hour and I didn't even know. So once I unpaused, I went through the trophies I got during the time I was paused. Okay, uh, wow. I paused my game. I mean, I paused the recording. I don't even know how long ago I paused it. That blows. Um, I got a couple trophies if you didn't see. I'll show you real quick because... I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good guy, you know? I got Razor Rain. I killed five characters with drop assassination. And then I eliminated High Overseer Campbell. After that hiccup, we moved to the next mission, which has us going to a pleasure house or a pleasure mansion or something pleasure. But before we do that, we run into a new enemy called the Assassins. These are the same people that assassinated the Empress. I'm only saying this because we get a trophy for killing one of them. Your actions affect the city. A high number of deaths result in more rats and weepers. Different reactions from your allies and darker final outcomes. This is not welcoming at all. Jesus Christ! Okay, I don't know who it. Who? What? Huh? huh? I assassinated an assassin. These are assassins. What are they doing here? Just like Granny Rags in the last mission, we get to a new side quest. This guy's name is Slackjaw, but he gives us a really interesting mission. He wants us to find this art dealer in the pleasure house to give him a safe combination to, you guessed it, his safe. The part he failed to mention is how the art dealer is a freak. What the hell? Finally, I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, honey? What? Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. The Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. Yeah, you fucking weirdo. 
after that weird task, we have to go back to Slackjaw, but that's what we're not gonna do. See, to get this trophy, we need to rob the art dealer's safe before we give the code to Slackjaw, so we can have all the loot to ourselves. Then after that, we give the code to him. Damn, I chopped him up. All right, painting number two. Okay. Oh, oh, all right. Damn. Damn, 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 I'm leaving. All right, the, 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 the combination was one, three, eight, I believe. Oh wait, maybe I have to talk to him to pop the trophy. Now that this place has been robbed. The art of the steel. We've got the art dealer safe combination for Slackjaw, but robbed the safe first. See, I'm just a double-edged sword kind of guy, you know? So once we finished all the side quests for mission three, we finally did the main stuff. And that was to actually save the daughter of the Empress. Oh, hey, Emily! Emily! What's up? I didn't know we were gonna see her this early. Child care! There it is. You located Lady Emily Caldwin, heir to the throne. Now, mission four, I got quite a bit of trophies, so I'm just going to show them all back to back because they were in like pretty close proximity of each other. I don't trust this guy, but I'm going to help him because that's another I dude I get to on. kill. What the hell do you want me to do? Come on, let's get this guy. Are you serious? Oh, I didn't even hit you. Oh, king of the world. Let's go! Damn! I mean, it, it looks like a, a painting, but... Can't deny that view. Ow! Where are they shooting from?! I don't think I have... I don't think I have it in me to stealth any of this. I just suck. Oh, hey, the, okay, the, the, the painting. Painting number five is in that house. Right over there. Oh, let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, shut up. Did you ring the alarm? Huh? No, you did not. How did any of you see me? Ow, holy shit. Oh, okay. God, dude, I got knocked so far down. Whoa! What? Piranhas? The, huh? The escapist? Oh. There's so many! There's so many! God damn! I don't even know what that trophy was for. But I just cleaned house, dude. <laughs> My bad, dude. Just hang in there for a second. I need some money. I have a beautiful idea. Oh, so beautiful idea. <laughs> Come on! Catch me now! Yeah, suck it! Wall of Sparks. You killed an enemy with the Wall of Light. Yeah! Let's go, you abducted him. Anton Sokolov. Now mission five and six were basically the same thing. I just played the game and earned the trophies throughout the story. So here's me earning those. And I also know that you can kill me at any hey time. Hey man, I'm not gonna kill you for snooping. Reasons, I mean, it's a little weird, I but like, apologize. I've killed people hey, for less, but that's not the point. Boom. Oh, Merchant of Disorder? You acquired 15 equipment upgrades. Well, well, well. Whoa. I mean, it's only fair that, that I get to do it if you get to do it. You saw nothing. Oh my God, no. No, please. No, please. Please! Please! Ah! No! Ow, ow, ow. Damn! Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. What? Oh, we're dueling? Oh, damn. I didn't know it was on one. Really? I thought it was like three, two, one, fire or something like that. 
But no. All right, you got me. Come back, come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Haha, <laughs> it was the white bitch. No! What? Oh no, you're coming. You fucking bitch, move! Oh. There's so many bodies. What? Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh! No! No! Why? Ow, what the? Damn! Damn! Oh, this mission sucks. Oh, this mission sucks. Come on! Why do I have to spawn like this? Dude, these saves are awful. Oh, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Hey. <laughs> Suck it. A little bit after that mission, we go back to the pub to celebrate for killing the Lord Regent. But you see, I knew something was up. Something was fishy. But I took a shot and just went to bed. But before I could even make it to the bed, I collapsed. These dudes poisoned me. And their idea of trapping me was putting me in a small hole with a bunch of 2x4s. So I broke out of there with ease and then went on the journey to recover my items. Damn Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep. <sighs> Stupid plant things! Oh, God. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Let's go. Ew! What the hell is that sound? I'm taking this. Yep, this is mine. This is mine. This is mine. Let's go. Got it. Hell yeah. So these next couple of trophies are a little tricky. One of them has me collecting a bunch of paintings in each mission, and only one painting is missable, and it's the final one. And the side missions with Granny Rags and Slackjaw I explained earlier are linked to this painting. If you don't do those side quests, you cannot get the collectible. But there's also two trophies for completing both Granny and Slackjaw's side quests. But Granny wants Slackjaw dead, and Slackjaw wants Granny dead, so you can only make one choice in your playthrough. But I just saved before I made the decision and got both trophies and the painting trophy all in one run. Okay, so I'm gonna have this new save right here before I talk to them. And this, which one do I want to save? I know I'm gonna have to save both, but I, I wanna know which one I wanna stick with. I feel like Granny's kinda crazy. All right, Granny, I'll talk to you. There's my love. Are you ready to yeah, help I'm not even your, like, bones? soulmate Granny or husband or whatever I am to you. you the pot. <laughs> oh, <Go> man. <laughs> boiling him al- oh, oh, God. Not alive. I was going to say boiling him alive, but he's definitely dead. Well, Slack Joel, I guess this is the end for you. Granny's got things to do. Of course, Granny. You're fucking weird. Gentleman caller. Such interesting Let's go. Final painting right here. Oh, it's the outsider. There we go. Art dealer. Hell yeah. I got all the paintings. Thank God I did the quest this run. So I didn't have to play the whole game just for one painting. All right. Well, now we load back the save. Wow. Okay. Hold on. We load back this save right here. And then we kill Granny. Find me. Oh, I can. BAM! Dead. Just- Oh! I'm gonna do a bunch of rats. You can't kill me. You can't kill me. You can't kill me. Hey, you are. Okay, you're really relentless. Okay, oh my god! Dude! Jesus! They're just- I swear to god, they just multiplied in like a blink of an eye. What was that? There, eat granny. Eat granny. Eat granny. Not me! Eat Granny! Oh! Oh! Man, I, I made that so much harder for no reason. By which... Oh, God! Hey, good, good luck, man. Good luck. Street, street conspiracy? Hell yeah. You completed all the Slackjaw side missions. 
as we're getting close to the end of the game, the four final trophies we get are actually when we beat the final boss. I say boss, but it really wasn't much of a fight. You just had to run up and kill him. But here's those four trophies. Go, 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 go. Oh, God damn it. That is the worst enemy. It does so much damage. Damn. Hey, wow, you're really... How are you hitting me? Uh, 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 wow, okay, sorry. That was really unlucky. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh! I have an idea. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get down, get down, get down. Woo! I'm a genius. How? Dude, I was out there for a split second. Are they all asleep now? I mean, like 99% of them are already dead. Now get off my boat. Oh wait, he doesn't like me anymore. I wish you good luck, but I'd be lying. Okay, wow, he doesn't like me anymore. What happened? Out, Corvo. All right. I don't like what you've become. Oh. No better than these traitors. High that's chaos. Why that's why. You're coming. What? No, you son of a bitch! <laughs> you made it so hard for me. Why? No. <laughs> Something is amiss. I can feel it. <laughs> nice try. Bam. Oh. <laughs> Suck it. Boom. Like I want to do this. I don't know, man. Uh, I love. Oh. Okay. So how does he not see me? But that freaking tall goober saw me in a split second. That last mission. What's going on? Good one. I, you know, I never have a chance to pay attention to my health in these fights and situations. But like two seconds ago, I swear to God, I looked at my health and it was all the way up. Like maybe had like a fucking pubic hair taken off, but like, come on, really? That much damage? Ow! Uh, I hate. This game! Do they all have guns? Oh my god, dude. I'm just a freaking bullseye for these guys. Screw you, Martin. Screw you. Uh-oh. Yeah! I don't know how that happened, but yeah! I used my mind. Yes. Long live the Empress. The others are all dead. Yes, you are, Emily. Yes, you are. Resolution! That's what I like to see. Should be getting a couple more. Mostly flesh and steel. You finish the game without purchasing any super supernatural powers or enhancements besides Blink. Because you automatically get that at the beginning. Dunwall in chaos. You completed the game in high chaos. That was so much fun up until the end. It got really annoying, but it's it's the path I chose, to be honest. So that there really isn't much to say about that. So after my first initial playthrough was over, I decided to load up an earlier save and spend all the runes I've been collecting because there are a shit ton of trophies for using a specific ability that Corvo has. So I'm just going to play those trophies in the background while I explain what we're going to do next. So after I got all the miscellaneous trophies out of the way, we have one thing left. We have to beat the game on low chaos, without killing anybody, and without getting spotted once. See, the difference between last playthrough and this playthrough is I can actually use my powers. There really wasn't any hard part to get by. Most areas actually you can bypass really easily. So here's me beating the game without killing or being spotted. Alright, this is the first mission. Done! I'm like 99% sure I, nothing got caught or anything. I didn't hear nothing! Most of the guards are, are sleeping. They're snoozing right now. I should get a trophy, I think, for this first mission. Alright, old man, let's go. Yeah, vanished! You escaped prison and navigated the sewers undetected. Let's go. Yeah, I got ghost and I didn't kill anyone and my chaos was low. Let's go, man. Let's go. 
See, there's nobody down here, so we can just go, I think. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Right now. Boom. That is how you do it. Do I have to brand him now? What, what do I do? Oh, I have to find it. Okay. Uh, interesting. <laughs> he doesn't even care at all. Oh, damn it. He, they saw the body. Shit. Okay, maybe I close the door. And he's fucking dead. Oh my god, man. This part, I, I, I don't get it. This is really frustratingly confusing. There we go. I think we're good. If 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 this somehow messed up, I'm gonna be so upset because I didn't get caught, man. Uh, un unless we count the times where I got caught. But I loaded my save, man. I loaded my save before I got caught. Go. And that's it. Let's go. Oh, after escaping without a look. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, let's go. After escaping prison, you completed a mission, not alerting anyone and killing less than five people. Don't hold back. I'll tell you oh, I won't. I won't hold back. Only three? Dude, the big boys can take four. Yeah. Let's go! Bam. They had to do a little victory hop. Mission three is done. Ghost, clean hands, all stealth. Let's go. Go. I'll just be sitting here in silence, man, because I'm just focusing. I'm making sure I got all my peas in a pod. All my neurons are firing in my brain. There we go. You played from the first mission through Caldwin's Bridge, killing fewer than 10 characters. Let's go. There we go. Your evening, sir. Mission we best be on our way. four. Quickly. Mission five. This is mission five. Yeah, mission five is done. There we go. Well mannered. I am. I showed up to that party. Ooh, there we go. Political suicide. Man, we're getting more and more in that. More and more of that today. Mission six done. Just like that. You ready to go back to the hound pits? Yeah, I am. I'm ready to go back. It's done. Let's Alright, let's go. Go. Poetic justice! You neutralized all key targets using indirect means. Dude. Bro is pissing on me right now. That was quick. Sam. 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 The boatman. <laughs> Dude, this is so cheap. I love it. Oh, here's the key. Okay, here we go. This is it. Emily. Emily! Corvo. Yes! I knew you'd come. Hello, Emily. Is it going to be okay now? Will I be empress? Yes, you will. You will be empress, Emily. Let's go. Clean hands! You completed the game without killing anybody. Ghost! You completed all missions after the prologue, alerting or killing nobody but key targets. Shadow, you completed all missions after the prologue without alerting anybody. Oh, that's, that's actually going to make me tear up a little Farewell, bit. Corvo. That's so sweet. Just dark enough. Let's go. We literally have one more trophy left, and it's one that I missed so long ago. The last trophy is nothing special. I just forgot to do it in a playthrough, and I kind of missed it because I forgot to do an upgrade before a mission where it's, like, not possible to upgrade weapons anymore. So here's me getting that and the platinum. Oh, there it is. Give me him. Give me him. Boom! Burn, burn, burn. Oh, there we go. Versatile. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes! Platinum Blades and Dark Corners! Let's go! Let's go! Next up, Dishonored 2! This game in particular is just packed with missable trophies. My run got ruined so many times because I forgot to check like these little spots and it just ruined my whole playthrough. Oh, because I died! Oh my god! No... <laughs>
But that's coming up. I, I won't I won't speak too much on that right now because that pisses me off. But we're going to have a similar game plan to the first game. Step one, get all the collectibles. There's a lot more missable collectibles in this game than the first one. Step two, another high chaos run. Step three, try to get as many miscellaneous trophies as we can during our playthrough so we don't have to go back and do it in another one. Step four, and arguably the easiest one, beat the game as Emily. With the game plan out of the way, let's get started. So when we start the game, we're greeted with a nice cutscene of us being the ruler of our kingdom. But this is Dishonored and shit took a quick turn. Just as everybody was enjoying their evening, a carriage rolls up, and this woman who claims to be the long lost sister of Emily's mother has come to take the throne. And she isn't really taking no for an answer. So now we choose who we get to play as for the rest of the game and it's not really choosing between which story you want it's just choosing which abilities you want so i picked emily corvo turns to stone we get knocked out and move on with our day so now we got to sneak out so we need to grab a ring from this dude knock him out kill him do whatever you want grab this ring get a trophy and leave finish the first mission start the next one get another trophy and the side missions return i'm just kidding there's only one and that's the next trophy we got so here it is you think he was a kind of a oh, witch. So, so you're a necro, I want is what you're saying. For reasons of my own. Uh -huh. Does this get me a rune? I think so. I'll do it for you. Oh, is this the dead body? Yikes. It's looking kind of rough. I'll feed you to the hound. Fuck you! Oh, morbid theft? Steal a corpse for Mindy Blanchard. Blanchard. Then shortly after that, I got a trophy for killing 20 unaware enemies. And that was mission two done. Next up is mission three. And there's a painting that's missable if you don't go for the non-lethal route. So of course I went for the non-lethal route and I got that painting. <laughs> but, but, but guess what? It didn't fucking matter. See, I got all three paintings in that mission, but there was a time I died right after I got the painting, so it did not save, and I did not think about that. So after I finished mission three and saw only two out of three paintings, I got really mad. But I was too lazy to go back through and spend another hour on that mission, so I just kept going, and I was going to get it in another playthrough. But after we finished mission three, we got two trophies. There you go. The Beast Within. I'm not sure I even fully understand oh, counter serum. I didn't even need to do that now. Now that mission three is fucking, oh, fucking over. The next two trophies after mission three were nothing special. I just had to score a headshot while sliding and then rob a black market. But I was not prepared for what comes next. See, mission four of this game is way different than the previous three. It takes all the mechanics you've learned in the previous three and just switches it and gets rid of them. Sort of. See, in mission four, we're tasked to save a guy named Anton Sokolov. He's the guy we kidnapped in Dishonored 1, but this time we're saving him. I thought this was going to be a piece of cake. It wasn't. See, there are these levers in every room that if you switch them, the whole layout of the place changes. But if you're fast enough, you can get in between the walls where the places change to avoid some obstacles in the way. Those obstacles being giant ass robots that one hit you. Why do I even bother? I don't care. I'm not doing this. Fuck this. So we're told to find Sokolov, we find him, and we get a trophy. There's only one more trophy I can do in mission four right now, and I have to kill three of the giant ass one hitting douchebags. So I did it reluctantly, but but I did it. Dude! Oh, there's another one! There's another one, there's another one, there's another one! Oh fudge, man. Can I blind robots? Uh oh. Don't die! Don't die from the explosion move! Nailed it. Okay, uh, where, where's the plaque at? Right there. There we go, clockwork collector. That was so much work. Oh, I actually have four now. Can I sell that or something? That'd be pretty dope. We're gonna skip this next mission because I hate it, but I did get two trophies during it, so here they are. But boy, oh boy, mission six is where things start to amp up a little bit. The mission is actually relatively short, but the gist of it is there's two factions in this mission that you have to choose between. The Overseers and the Howlers, they're fighting for control of this district. And I decided to side with the Overseers, and that granted me two trophies. What the hell? Did I just fall all the way down? Not your land. You're gonna pay for his death. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> There's so much is going on right there, man. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Wait, so like, are we cool if if I walk up to him with this body? Are we like chilling? A dead heretic. 
Impressive. Yeah, I think we are. Hey, we're like buds right now. Oh, this is weird. Oh, I don't know if I like this. Hey, man, what's up? I defeated your biggest adversary. Look, he's big old wanted sign on the you whiteboard be behind you. Good you've done. No. Listen. Damn, I'm just assassin now. Shit, I'm crazy. Take our friend here away. Me? No. Right? Yeah, faithful to Abby. All right, sweet. That was cool. I messed with that. Then I go back in the mission, crack this lock without finding the solution. Then we get to mission seven. A and this is like the most peak mission in all of Dishonored. You literally get to go back in time for one single mission. This is the only mission where you can do it. I don't know why Dishonored teases us like that, but they do. But nonetheless, the first time we go in the past, we get a trophy. So then shortly after, we have to maneuver ourselves between the past and present to get by certain objects, eventually getting to a door with a bunch of guards in the other room. But see, if you switch to the present, they're not there, obviously. So in the present, you want to sneak under this table, then switch it to the past and grab this master key, thus netting us another trophy. After that, we get a couple more oddball trophies, but they don't really matter. And that pushes us into the second to last mission. And we are finally tasked with killing Duke Luca. But there's a a twist. See, there's actually two Dukes at this party. One is a body double, and we have to figure out which one is the real one. Now, we get a clue that the body double smokes a lot. But that's really it. We just gotta use our context clues and just try to figure it out. So here's me doing that. But that's where I met Delilah. <laughs> okay, dude. He actually, like... That's where I met Vanessa. Hey, man. You don't seem to be the... No offer to bow. Or kiss my hand? I could say the same. A mystery. Let's have it then. Who are you and what do you want? Okay, yeah, he doesn't know who I am. And I mean, let's be honest. He served me, right? So he has to know who I- Oh, I got my mask on. Oh, but like if I tell him he's his bo the body double, then he's going to be like, even if he isn't, he's going to be like, Oh, yeah, I am. You're right. Like, I am the body double. I think he's the body double, to be honest. Listen, I think you're the Duke's body double. You can't have any love for the man. I'm here to end his rule. You figured it out. It occurs to me that you might make a more agreeable Duke than Luca Abel. I think this is him. I lied. Oh, parasite. I, I'm pretty sure that was him. I'm so good. I am so... See, I told you, bro. I was going to be like, oh, you're really perceptive. You figured it out. Like, come on. Get out of here. After we take the Duke's keys, we go to his vault and take Delilah's soul. And now we're on the final mission. But before we actually start it, we need to stay on the Dreadful Whale for a few more trophies. The first one is learning Megan Foster's backstory. See, at the time of recording during my High Chaos playthrough, I had no idea what this meant. But upon completing Low Chaos and Death of an Outsider, I now know that Megan Foster's actually Billy Lurk, the girl that helped kill the Empress in the first game, along with like a disciple of Dowd. But we'll get to that later. If some of you guys have already platinum the game, you might already know there's four collectible trophies to get, but I only got one because I forgot about the other three halfway through my playthrough. So here's me getting the one and only collectible trophy, the Royal Spymaster. After that, we started the final mission and we got like three stupid trophies. Not important whatsoever. We continue on and guess what? We're at the end of the game. The final boss was super disappointing because it's it's my fault. It's my fault. You know, you know what? I'll just let past me explain it. You know, actually, I think if this is the same boss that I'm thinking of, then isn't it possible to have her be up here, right? Is that right? I thought this was in Death of the Outsider. I didn't know that was in this one. But now I recently saw this. This feels really cheap, so I'm not gonna do it. I just want to see if that, that was it. Ow, dude, that is not fair. Um, yeah, I have no heals. And only four now. Four of those, those little guys. Um, I'm not living. I'm going to take this L. Because I want to beat this game already. Boom, Delilah, you're dead. Oh, is that really it? That's it? The Empress. Finish the... Yeah, that, what? That was such a lame ending. Finish the game with Emily Caldwin. The greatest gift. Saved your last known family member. Oh, there it is. Empire and Chaos. I was waiting for that. 
Complete the game in high chaos. Yeah, I'll take the L in that cheap ass kill. I'm sorry guys, morale was low that day. Now before I started my second playthrough, I went back and loaded in an earlier save to pick up the rest of the miscellaneous killing trophies that I needed. That's what's playing in the background right now because I can't do it in my next playthrough because I'm doing a no supernatural powers run. Since I missed a shitload of collectibles last playthrough, I had to do the cleanup on this one. And trying to get to high places where the collectibles are located it, it, it sucked. And don't let me forget, we gotta get 60% of all loot, which totals to around 18,000 gold. So let's start this lovely playthrough. So first up is a trophy I actually missed on my very first time playing, and it involves me saving this printer. There, there really isn't much more than that. We just have to save them and talk to them, and then we get the trophy. After this one, it gets weird though. See, throughout this playthrough and last playthrough, I've been using my heart to read people's minds, and in turn, I have learned their deepest, darkest secrets. Only only, only past Dylan can give the reaction it deserves. He brought his own mother to the overseers. What? And told, told them, them she was the outsider's concubine. That is actually so messed up. What the hell? You don't do that to your mom. He organizes fights between dogs and rats in his basement. That is just also really weird. Why is it? Why? Why do they all have skeletons in their closet, man? Just can't, can I hear one that's like, he likes to draw for fun. Like, that'd be nice. But no, he sacrifices his mother to the overseer. Dude, why? She won't let him back in the bathhouse. Not after what he did to a boy there. Whoa, what? Hold on. No, pause it. No, I just quick. Dude, I was moving my controller. Oh man. All right. Well, first we need to touch touch on a couple bases real quick. I I listened to this guy's heart. He said he's not allowed in a bathhouse because of what he did to a boy. And I don't know if you just heard him a couple seconds ago, but this man went, "Oh man, that kiss." Oh, oh, it carries over? Oh, that's sick. I didn't know that. I was, I was ready to do 40 again. So, you know, we keep grinding. We keep getting them collectibles, the paintings, the coins, the artifacts. And we do this all the way up to mission six, which is where we get our next trophy. I know, it's a huge gap. But if you guys remember earlier, we sided with the overseers for the dust district. But now we're doing the opposite. We're siding with the howlers, so I have to kill the high overseer. Once I delivered his body to Palo, I got the trophy. Easy as that. But wait. So after I finished the mission, I took a look at my trophy list just to see what I had left and see if I missed anything. And I did, of course, miss something. The trophy I missed was Songs of Sirkonos. The trophy stating, find three musical duos across Karnaka and listen to their songs. See, I didn't fully miss this trophy. These duos are also located in mission two and four, and I only missed mission six. Pause. Post edit edit here. It's actually mission two, six, and eight. I'm just a fucking idiot. And I'm too lazy to change my wording around, so here you go. Now back to the lovely video. So I had to play through the whole mission again, getting all the collectibles and artifacts all over, and then I finally got it. How long was this? Oh my god. How long was I paused? Fuck. Okay, well, if if I was paused too long, I just got another trophy. Uh, for siding with the Howlers District. I fucking paused it for- I think I was looking for a collectible or something. I couldn't find it, so I had to look it up. But I sided with this douchebag, got the trophy, and then I just realized I missed another trophy right here from the uh, Three Songs of Karnaka. I think that's the trophy I was just looking Sarko for. Sarkanos, that's what it is. And you need to find three musical duos. I probably already explained it, but I had to find three musical duos around some missions so like it was mission two and then it's mission six and eight and you have one chance to get it apparently and i missed it so we have to start back from mission two or i can reload my save and do this all over again which i guess i'm not too against so after we're done listening to the second duo we go to mission eight where we can finally finish this trophy up so we get there and we get the trophy but we also get all three of our collectible trophies i'm talking well-funded art collector, and souvenirs. Thus meaning we only need to beat the game with no superpowers. And of course we did that. Ooh, I can say a Corvo or take the throne? 
Well, I mean, I saved Corvo the last playthrough, so I, I think I know what's about to happen now. Here we go. The throne is mine. That's it, huh? What's the world gonna turn out to be now? Flesh and steel, there we go. Let's go. Now we switch to Corvo, where we are going for the complete non-lethal route. No killing, no being spotted, and beat the game in low chaos. So actually, upon beating the first mission, we get two trophies, Ghostly and Alternative Approach. And the next trophy I got was Fearless Fall. I needed to drop from the highest point in mission three and kill somebody. Now you're thinking, D Dylan, you just said you can't kill anybody. And you're right, and I forgot the trophy in the last two playthroughs, sue me. So I just quick saved, and killed someone, and then loaded back to where I didn't kill anybody. And pop the trophy. Next Next up is actually a super fun one. We're going back to mission four on this one. We need to kill Jindosh without him ever knowing we were there. The only way he knows we're there without seeing us is he uses pressure sensors on the floor. So like when we step on it, it notifies him. So we gotta take sort of a creative approach. So first we need to shoot this window, blink up, and follow this path between the walls. Shortly after that we'll arrive at a window where we have to wait for some guards to pass by. Run to the right, get caught, restart, do it again. God damn it. Open the double doors, go to the end of the room, hop over the railing, and get on the ventilation shaft. Climb all the way down to open the little door, go up in the elevator, and kill Jindosh. That's just the path I took. It's pretty easy, but there's obviously a million different ways you can go about it. That was the easy part. See, for that trophy, you can kill him, but since I'm doing the clean hands ghost playthrough, I can't. And he's sitting in the chair, so I cannot knock him out. I cannot get that prompt to come up. So I gotta get a little bit dangerous. So I have to get him out of the chair, and what's a better idea than causing a distraction? That way I can knock him out, safely escort him to the chair, and turn his brain into mush. Therefore not voiding the clean hands trophy. How this next trophy is the rarest is beyond me. This is only specific to Corvo. You need to cast possession and chain between a human, hound, rat, fish, and blood fly. There's really only one point in the game where you can do this, and that's in mission 5. So here it is. BAM! There we go, circle of life! That's how you do it! Now all we need to do is just beat the game to get the platinum. Haha, <laughs> nice try. Yep. She's trapped in there forever. I'll explain everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will explain everything. The Royal Protector. Let's go! Come on. Shadow. There we go. Finish the game without being spotted. Clean hands. Complete the game without killing anybody. And then we gotta finish the credits for low chaos to pop, and then we'll get the trophy, or the platinum. Yes! Yeah, there we go! Complete the game in low chaos! The platinum! Dunwall Days and Karnica Nights. Now, game number three. Dishonored Death of an Outsider is not really considered a full game, it's more of a DLC. It only took like 12 hours for me to platinum, and it takes two playthroughs, so I decided that I'm gonna do a very hard stealth playthrough. Now, the difference between this game and the last two is you can actually kill people. There is no clean hands trophy. And the main character of this game is actually Billy Lurk, the character that helped us in Dishonored 2. So we get to learn her backstory. So the first thing we get set out to do is to free the assassin Dowd. See, during that mission, there's actually a new game mechanic that gets introduced. It's a crazy one. We get to listen to rats. Fuck you, man. I don't need to be belittled like this. Oh, there we go. Wait, I didn't listen to five. It's I've literally only done it like three times. Hey, man, I'll take it. Oh, there's someone right there. I'm not gonna lie, outside of the trophy for just listening to them five times, it really wasn't that crazy. Like, I never used it once I got the trophy. After that pointless miscellaneous trophy, we've got another one for freeing Dowd. Oh, Dowd. Oh my god. You know, he was a cool guy in Dishonored 1. Besides all of that, you know, murder. Where's the lady? Oh, there she is. Yeah. There's a hundred coin. I'll take my hundred coin back, thank you. <laughs> Damn, dude! I didn't even... Uh... I didn't know there was a dog! Damn, dude, these dogs are insane! What am I supposed to do?! Oh, shit. It's hostile now. I'm out. Doubt. Oh, you look so old. Oh, wait, she has two hands. 
Well, let's talk okay, so this else. is before. I just realized she had two hands. You know. Okay, so this is before Dishonored two. Well, what's left of it? Maybe no. Will. This is after one, before it's two. Uncaged. There we go. Is that the first mission the done? Man's got me yep. Right back into this Rescued shit. him. <laughs> Let's go. We move on to mission two, and there's a lot of back and forth shit to do. But eventually we'll get to a point where we have to go into Sean Yun's house. And he's some popular singer in the district or something. And we have to get in his safe and steal a vault key. See, it's not a normal safe. Only Sean Yun's voice can unlock it. So one of Billy's powers is semblance, and you can take the form of whatever body you use it on. So this trophy wants us to use it on Sean Yun and mimic his voice in the safe to unlock it. And I did it and I got the trophy, but for some reason the safe didn't unlock. I thought for sure that was going to work. But oh well, we needed another here. Oh my god. But we needed another trophy here anyway, so I guess it's fine. So the way you're actually supposed to open the safe is using an audiograph. But the one we need is a couple floors down in a gallery. And we have to steal it without disabling the safeguard floor. It's just, just one problem. It does a lot of damage. But somehow I contort my body just enough to grab the file. But after using that and getting the trophy, we go back up to the top floor, open the safe, get the last vault key, and then we get another trophy. Finishing up mission two. Now probably my favorite mission in the game, mission three. We're here to rob a fucking bank! And if we want to do a ghostly, we got a lot of tasks at hand. So first we gotta check out a pharmacy that's selling some sort of knockout agent. But surprise, they're closed. And we're given the location of some bitch. I don't know how to pronounce her name, so I'm not even gonna attempt it. So we go to her. She tells us there's an auction happening nearby selling all the pharmacy stuff. So I knock out a civilian, use my semblance, and go in as a bidder. After some dollar figures are thrown around, I come out on top winning the poppy tincture and getting the trophy big time player. So once we got the tincture, now we have to go to the bank. But before we go in, we have to go to the roof. And along there, there will be an air duct that we have to put the tincture in. Then we can go inside and everybody will be knocked out. But now we get to the security part. It's not that hard to avoid, you just have to know where it's at. So I'm ducking, dodging all these security systems until we get to the vault, but it's locked, which is no surprise, honestly. But we're gonna send that bitch crashing through the floor. We just need to find a release lever, which is in the maintenance room above it. So we grab the lever, release all the brakes, and send her flying down, which somehow doesn't wake up anybody. But we get that trophy, and then we have to open up every safe inside the vault, which is supposed to be some cool composite number puzzle. You already know I googled that. But after I opened up every safe, I got the trophy, Obsessive Safe Cracker, and then I got another trophy literally right after it for picking up the ancient weapon and two more trophies after that and that finishes up mission three at the very start of mission four i get two trophies just for killing someone in a special way but after that we have to use semblance again on another person we actually have to use it on one of the top overseers once we impersonate him we have to go up to get the stolen archive and we get two trophies there's only one more thing that we have to do in this mission and that's to break four oraculum sensors and listen to their prophecies it just looks like a bunch of damn jars with symbols on it so we just shoot four of them and get the trophy and now believe it or not we're actually at the end of the game so the first trophy we get is a story related one then i run into the worst bitchiest douchiest fucking enemy in the game the envisioned cultist it follows that trend of dishonor 2 and one hitting me <laughs> and guess what we gotta kill one so here's me doing that oh fuck oh fuck I d b come on that's so unfair was it your freaking spider tingle that made you turn around like that no why? Who, who just randomly wants to do a 90 degree turn? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Or a 180. I don't care. Okay, you have got to be kidding me. That just does not make any sense. I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself. Okay, I'm putting a freaking spring razor down. And I hope that works. I hope something kills this thing. I don't have any... Besides the hook mine, what the fuck is that gonna do? Come on, please tell me this works. Please, 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 please. It's I'm fucked. Kill it! Oh my god, it didn't work. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. No! <laughs> Alright, well fuck spring razors then. That did not work as planned at all. Damn! Oh, it worked! Oh! Let's go! Fuck you, you twerp! Harder than stone. 
After that annoying ass trophy, we get the last two in our playthrough, killing the outsider and beating the game without being detected. Now we get to start our final playthrough, Original Game Plus. The only difference between this one and the last one is that there's different abilities. It's nothing too crazy, it's just the original abilities from Dishonored 2. By just normally playing the game, I pick up four miscellaneous trophies, and compared to Dishonored 2, which only has 27 paintings, this game has eight. So I got that shit with ease. And then after that, I got two more killing trophies. And then we got to the trophy that took me two hours to get mercenary work every mission has these optional objectives you can do for extra money these are known as contracts and i have to do every single one of them which isn't that hard oh except for the last one this last contract wants you to kill every single person in mission four all overseers all witches everything you're probably just telling me dylan you had to be patient and just look around every corner and kill everybody and first of all fuck you captain obvious let me explain why this trophy is difficult first of all the map is confusing as hell second of all if a teammate kills another teammate on accident that does not count so i have to reload before he did that and third and most important i'm stupid and i just play miss spots but whatever here's me getting the trophy oh my god oh my god there's three of them right there oh jesus christ why why was this the last spot i would think to look back outside jesus christ dude that literally took two hours. <laughs> but now there's just two trophies left. We have to do the good ending. We need to look at a body, open a chest, look at the journal, and talk to Dowd. And after that, we get an alternate choice to save the outsider. And I mean, of course we do it. So here's me getting that and the original Game Plus trophy and the platinum. Farewell, Billy. For the last time. See you, Dowd. You're the goat. You're free. Damn. That was such a good ending. That was such a good ending. Final release? What's this? Return the outsider to the mortal world? Good old times. Finish original game plus. And truest self. Earn all the trophies. Oh, man. That was such an enjoyable trilogy. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This took so long to edit. It was just chaos. But it's all buttoned up nicely for you guys, so leave some platinum suggestions down below, and I'm out.